DaVinci Resolve 19 just dropped and there's some massive updates. Here are my top five new features. First up, the one I'm most excited about, Color Slice 6 Vector Grading. If you're coming from the photography world and you're coming from that kind of editing style, this is going to make a lot more sense to you and the jump from photo to video editing is going to be a lot less daunting. So now we're on the color tab of DaVinci Resolve 19 and as you can see, I've already color graded this clip, but I wanna show you the brand new Color Slice tab here in the color tab. And I think this is so cool because it allows you to have more control over all these different colors, especially your skin tone here. And what I want to do is kind of just emphasize the colors that are already here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click this button right here and it's gonna show you what's going on. So I'm gonna click that. And then I'm just gonna take the center and kind of like lean it towards what I want it to like view as blue. So I'm gonna go here. And then from there, I'm gonna uncheck that. And I'm just gonna bring this up and down and up and down. You can see what it's doing there. And I think that is so cool because it just gives you so much more control over the different things you have. And obviously I'm pushing my footage really hard because you're starting to see banding happening right here, but you're just gonna be able to have so much more control over your footage and your color and what you wanna achieve with that. So it's really cool that you have all this control in something. So if I wanna raise the saturation, I can do that just by raising this a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go like one point 10 and that looks really really good to me so here i'm going to go to my cyan because i want to see how that is affecting the image right here and not a lot is showing up as cyan so what i'm going to do is just kind of center this and as you can see now we're selecting a lot more of the tank top and so what we're going to do now is just mess with that and you can see how i'm affecting the tank top right here and i think that is so cool that i just have that very minute control over color and i can add and subtract saturation to it and just really have more finite control. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more saturation and then to the magenta, which I think is really, really cool. So I'm again, gonna just gonna do that. I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to kind of mess with that. But first I'm gonna go to my center and see what it is selecting more. So I want more of this skyline right here. And now I'm going to just play with this as I see fit. Increase that a little bit, increase that a little bit. And then with the hue, we can kind of like pick what we want to do so like we can get really crazy with this if i want to so i'm just going to reset that and then just lean it a little bit more to the purple side and then with the red you can see it's coming off a lot on the skin tone so i'm just going to do that and then i hit center here and it's just going to select more of that skin tone right there and then i'm going to unselect that and see how i can change that so we're just going to bring that up and then down and i just want to raise that up just a little bit that's obviously too much and yeah, so that is the before and the after with the new color slice tab. And I think it's such a powerful tool. I really love this new feature because it means that you can color grade with finer adjustment and more control. It's crazy because there were quite a few high-end third-party plugins that achieved this exact same thing. And now DaVinci Resolve has kind of made those irrelevant by just including it in DaVinci Resolve 19. On to feature number two, the film look creator. This is another feature that I was super excited about because it just, gives you so much more power over your color grading and it really, again, competes with a lot of third-party applications, but now it's just built into DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how it works. So you can just type in film and you're gonna find the film look creator. You can drag that onto a new node and boom, you have a completely different thing right now and you can see the before and after. It does have a bit of a look built in, but you have full control over the parameters to see what you like and how intense you want the look to be. And you have a bunch of different presets to choose from when you're doing certain things. You have cinematic, you have bleach bypass, you have even nostalgic, which is super in right now but we're gonna keep this at default 65 and you can actually see that you have full exposure sliders and whatnot and this is actually extremely accurate and photometric so you can actually color grade on just this note so if you only wanted to do one node of color grading because you just wanted a really simplistic color grade and you're not super comfortable with this you could just go into this one node with the film look creator and type in your camera's different input and outputs and you have this look built right here for Rec 709 and boom, right there, you have a look built in. And if you're uncomfortable with using color grading wheels or whatnot, you can just come here and use your exposure sliders if that's what you're more comfortable with, add some contrast, lower the highlights, increase the fade, so you just have a little bit of that film look, change the white balance a little bit, skin tones, add that in, subtractive, you can just kind of see what kind of saturation you want, richness, 
you can see again, we're just playing with the colors going left to right. And we're gonna leave the bleach bypass untouched because I don't really like that. But you can see the before and after of just that is already insane. Personally, I prefer more control when it comes to color grading, so I'm gonna go back to my previous color grade, but if you only wanted a single node of color grading, you now have that option. So aside from basic color and exposure settings, you can come down here and you have split tone, which means you can do some crazy stuff going on here, and you can change the hue angle to match exactly what you want. I kinda want my highlights to be a little bit more in the teal, and that is pretty cool. You can change the pivot here, and you can see how that will affect your image. That looks pretty good to me, so enabled, disabled that's pretty cool vignette I don't really need a vignette because I can add that more manually with masking halation I think that is really really cool and we're going to add the radius and the hue so I like the hue being more down here in the reds because that's more of a filmic vibe and then obviously the amount the radius is going to vary on what you want the at hundred percent it's quite strong so I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and then you can see the before and after it's giving it a nice little halation that's giving it that film vibe which I really really like and then here we have the bloom as well which is automatically enabled and so we're just gonna increase and then decrease that you're seeing it a little bit on the brightness of the image right here but it's not showing up so much on her face so what I'm going to do is just come up to the lights right here and you can see how it's affecting the lights boom so you can see there's just a little bit of that blur if I turn everything to hundred you see the effect is a lot more obvious but you do see that bloom on those light sources so I'm gonna have it pretty high and then I'm gonna bring the radius a little bit lower so you can see the before and the after there's just that little bit of glow that looks really really nice that kind of replaces like a pro mist filter and then of course you have grain as well honestly I don't know how I feel about this because especially on social media YouTube and Instagram the compression is not really gonna show the grains so it just kind of looks a little bit off, but you can enable this and get that look if you so wish. Again, you have some multiple presets, 65, 35, 16, 8, and custom, so you can just dial it in, or you can go with one of the presets and make it look super grainy if you so wish. You also have flicker, gate weave, film gate. You have a lot of different features here. It just gives you more control over how you want your footage to look, and if you're really going for that film vibe, you have all of these tools at your disposal. If you do like the film look, be sure to check out my full color grading video on how to achieve that look. And if you want even more control about how to get the film look, I have a 10% discount on any Dehancer product that really will elevate your footage and give it that filmic vibe. Now, honestly, even though I was more excited about the first two features, this might be the biggest upgrade for the vast majority of people, and that is text based editing. DaVinci Resolve has had auto transcriptions for quite a while now, but the competition has had text-based editing for a decent amount of time, and DaVinci was always kind of lacking that. But now it's here, and you can edit video by just editing text in the transcription box, and that is amazing. Let me show you. So now when you go to audio transcription, you just hit transcribe, and you have the full availability to just select text and delete it. So you can just delete text as you see fit and it will delete it off the timeline and then if you have gaps like you have here you can just hit the x button and it will delete all your gaps and kind of just ripple delete so your timeline is so clean and i just love that if you find that you're making a lot of errors or there are long gaps here you can just go boop delete and then you're like oh there's a massive gap boom Ripple delete, that is wild. The next feature I'm really excited about is the Ultra NR noise reduction. If you're unfamiliar with noise reduction and you're a little bit scared and it seems daunting, don't worry anymore. DaVinci Resolve has you covered. It does it all automatically, and I'll show you right now how to do that. Here I have a clip that was shot at nighttime, so there is a bit of noise in the background here if you look carefully and pixel peep. So what I'm gonna do here is just zoom back out. I'm going to go to the noise reduction tab here, and I'm going to go to Ultra NR. And as you can see here, it is now changed the parameter to medium, and I'm going to hit analyze, and a box is going to appear, and it's going to give me these parameters that it thinks is best for this clip. And if I hit play, it is a little bit laggy, but those are the parameters that it thinks are best for this clip based off of noise reduction. So if you're really not comfortable with any kind of noise reduction, this is going to be a really easy way to kind of eliminate that. If you want to learn more about noise reduction, feel free to watch my other color grading videos. And the last feature that I'm excited about, but definitely not least, is the new and improved face refinement feature. Before, it was a little bit finicky and it would take a little bit of time to load things, but now it's much improved, it's a lot easier, and you have more control, and ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Let me show you how it works. So here we are back in the color tab, and what we have here is the face refinement. And we're just gonna drag that onto a node, and we're gonna hit detect faces in frame. Boom, so much easier, and we're just going to hit track.
It's gonna analyze the clip and now we have an outline to work with. And now because we know that the overlay is fairly accurate, I'm just gonna hit show overlay off so you can see what I'm doing to the color grading here. Go beauty, smoothing, we're just gonna kind of dial this in. I'm going to exaggerate for the sake of YouTube so you can actually see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna kind of bring this down. Detail, boom, boom, boom. You can see as I'm adjusting these sliders what we're actually achieving here because before, after. We've already kind of smoothed out a lot of the detail here. With the skin color grading, we're gonna go mid-tone, just kind of bring that up, down, and see how that's affecting the image. I'm gonna give some, some color boost, see how that looks. And probably one of the bigger ones, we're gonna do some shine removal here, just so you can see how that is working. Again, quick before, after. We've changed the face quite a bit here. And I think I'm just going to go to eyes. I'm gonna do some eye bag removal, see how that looks. If we just kind of brighten that up, you can see how much of a difference this is doing to the face. I'm just gonna add a little bit of eye light, eye bag removal, boop, boop, boop. You can see that it's just adding brightness to different parts of the face here. So overall, this is just an easier process. You can see the before and the after and how much we were able to change the image just based off of this one node tab. Obviously, this is a very exaggerated Barbie effect. This is not how I would usually color grade, but just for the sake of YouTube and showing you what this new feature can do, it's really nice how it is able to just track the face and see how things are going because that is what we want out of AI features and tracking. So if we hit play, you can see it's a little bit laggy, but it's really not too bad when it comes to these kind of more intense tracking features. I will be doing a brand new color grading tutorial featuring these brand new features. So if you want to make sure you don't miss that, be sure to subscribe right now. And those are my top five features in DaVinci Resolve 19, but there are so many other massive updates that I'm just not able to cover in this because it is such a comprehensive update. There's so many changes to Fusion, to Fairlight. There's so many under the hood changes. There are so many things that just make the program run faster and smoother. You're going to love this update. So be sure to download it if you have the chance because this is a game-changing update. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. My name is Mark Steiner and I will see you next time.